The Edgewater saga continues as city leaders and Mansion Hill residents react to Mayor Soglin's capital budget. Yeah, deep cuts could be on the horizon, and it's got all of the players talking TIF. Andy Choi joins us now live with the latest. Eric and Sarah, tax incremental financing to be exact, TIF funding remains a controversial issue even after the Common Council's approval of the deal. Supporters of the Edgewater project fear Soglin's proposal to slash TIF funding could put the development in jeopardy. We're going back to the old way of doing things. For the mayor who's been around the budget block a few times, Paul Soglin says Madison must tackle its debt service head on. It is imperative upon us to reduce borrowing. It's not enough to keep it at the same level as last year. And the most controversial component of his $196 million capital budget, a proposal to scale back the Edgewater Project's TIF funding from $16 million down to $3.3 million, a number that falls within the city's TIF policies. The thing that everyone forgets is that uh, the $16 million of TIF funds does not make anyone's tax bill go up or down. Alder Bridget Maniachi voted to approve the Edgewater $16 million TIF funds back in the spring of 2010. Maniachi calls Mayor Soglin's proposal a political move, which will be met with opposition from the city council. It was a surprise for me that Mayor Soglin made the decision he did on the Edgewater TIF. I'd had many conversations with him since he's taken office, and it, it was never indicated to me that he would do anything but go forward with how the council had previously ruled. Paul Soglin uh, is a very experienced mayor. Mansion Hill resident Fred Mose has been a longtime critic of the Edgewater project. He agrees with tightening the city's budget belt. We can't continue to borrow at the rate we are. It's pretty obvious. The ultimate decision on Soglin's budget comes in November. Till then, the mayor continues to hammer home the idea of scaling back, even at the expense of an already approved project. This is serious business. The developer of the project, Bob Dunn, tells News 3 he had not heard the news of the TIF fund reduction until this week. Dunn says he's disappointed with the proposal and the project's future is unknown. Again, final decisions on these budget proposals are set for the middle of November. All right. Thanks so much, Andy. You're welcome.